Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me here to start a new campaign in Hearts of Iron for using a sub mod called, or mod really called, Star Wars Executor Redux. And we'll share the Redux team here of course, credit to everyone who worked on this. Thank you for doing all this, thank you, Fun Ultimate and all the other devs, continue gameplay. But welcome to the mod. It's an overall of the gameplay of the original mod of the same title, as a version 0.1.6 of Redux. The Imperial Focus Tree now features a war with a rebellion and a reorganization of entire Focus Tree for smooth gameplay. And recommended targets recommended for the first uh, playthrough of this version as it unlocks the ability to in place Grand Admiral Thrawn as the leader of the Empire. So that's really cool. So there's a story. I had taken the nearly completed Super Star Destroyer ex Executor for a test flight accompanied by many high ranking officials in the Imperial Army Navy. Catastrophe struck what is supposed to be a many hour jump through hyperspace. Ship set on the other side of hyperspace and the gravity well of an unknown planet due to one of the main reactors of the ship failing. Sit in the executor crashing down on the surface, thankfully. Due to the skill of the entire crew, we were able to use the remaining engines to move ourselves over land, narrowly escaping a watery grave and ending crashing in a vast sea of sand dunes. Lord Vader and Grand Moff Tarkin are both present on the ship due to them overseeing the launch of the Super Star Destroyer. Tension has arisen between the two between the, uh, due to the morale of the entire Imperial crew. We're currently discussing whom shall oversee the upcoming operations. Crew is in distress, as executors are badly damaged in a crash, navigation systems are completely fried, and there's no telling where they are. Both Vader and Tarkin are adept at their fields, but the choose of whom shall oversee the upcoming events could shape the future of the surviving crew, Lord Vader. Grim off Tarkin will sure go to. Wow, look at all that. Because Vader's already leading, he's headstrong, he's a Sith he has Sith presence, and Dark Lord of the Sith, which looks really cool, or Grim off Tarkin. Uh, Wilhelf, Wilhelf Tarkin becomes the leader, respected Imperial. Some more speed attack recovery with Empire's Doctrine. And Imperial Connections, which looks kind of cool too. The 501st Legion will join Darth Vader on the field. Tarkin leaves Executor's operations. Tarkin must be a leader for Thrawn's path to be available. Oh, well, will try that. I don't know. Let's try it. Oh, this handsome guy. Oh, uh, we have Yeroon Executor. Executor. Executor? Executor. Executor. Yeah, Executor. Imperial Military. Stranded, which sucks. And then we also have New Industry, which is also very bad. Corsican Imperialism. That sounds like great fun. A legitimacy here, huh? I am a part of the Galactic Empire, but we're going to deploy stormtroopers. Uh, focus tree. Uh, emergency. To the all Imperial crew survivors of the exec Executor crash, we have become stranded in an unidentified role. With the Executor having been disabled and near destroyed in a seamlessly endless desert, with no knowledge of our surroundings, we must deploy our surviving stormtrooper regiments immediately and assess our situation and find out if this planet is hostile. Four stormtrooper regiments will be created. Additionally, there will be 100 empty or 100 supply hovercrafts and 520T rail crawling convoy X. Transports added to the stockpile, which also, I'll be honest, I've not played this mod yet, so I have no idea what this is like. I've tried it in the past, but not on the channel, so Ooh, look at this. Harsh leader, infantry officer, a desert fox, offensive doctrine. I love Darth Vader. Apo, oh. Captain Modteric. Oh, please go more attack. Major General Maximilian. Uh, I'll go with that one. And actually, I apologize for this. Uh, yeah, okay. As long as there's no Star Wars stuff, like I, I will get copyrighted immediately if there is, which I can't literally afford to do. Tarkin leads the Executor's operations. With Grand Moff Tarkin at the helm of the Executor's operations on this unknown world, the Imperial Army breathes a short sigh of relief. The surviving Imperialists, who or Imperials who are left after the Executor's uh, Executor's crash of good faith choice of the Grand Moff to lead. Tarkin has been known to effectively lead the Imperial Navy for years, having served prior in the Clone Wars as the Republic captain and eventually admiral. As war contributions and efforts alone shape many victories for the Republic, it is considered a war hero to most, or men, have confidence, that perhaps. They will again see home, though the troops are a bit fearful of the Lark Lord's presence, with Tarkin helping as the head of operations. Vader will oversee the Imperial forces in person. Perhaps there's still a chance. A naval co op? A second year will play a co op with Saudi Arabia and Iraq. As a in a co op will instantly make both Saudi Arabia and Iraq satellite states that cannot have their time to be changed. On top of this, we will also receive the Imperial Tech alongside a modified version of the generic focus tree. The two options below one gives you an, another event, allowing you to choose the nations which you wish to co op, and the other will simply bypass this event. Um, I don't know, let's co op mode? Four total choices, both? Well, it's not fair if I do both. I kind of want both, though. This is my first campaign. We'll make it easy. Screw it. This is going to make it super, probably too easy. Commander Hawk Melusum. It's actually really cool that they decided to do it like this so you can be like, uh, have allies and play with other people. Military Operations by Auric. Oh! Did you leave us? Bruh. Oh, wow. Look at that industry we finally got. That's a good industry, but the map part's pretty good too. So, I mean, ooh. Give Saudi Arabia, Saudi and Iraq new leaders. Descriptions, give leaders, don't give leaders. Yeah, you got some leaders. <coughs> Deploy the stormtroopers. 
So obviously this is my first campaign, like I said. We'll see what it's like. You know, I is that a good idea to have Iraq and Saudi Arabia under us? We'll see. But also, if you want to check out the mod for yourself, I'll leave it in the first link in the description below. Survey surroundings. The surviving Imperial troopers have reorganized abroad the wreckage of the Executor and have recovered from the crash. The Executor lay scattered across for miles and miles in what seems to be endless sand dunes. May I begin investigating our surroundings to determine if we're near any point of life? Foot patrols, eight combat with storm troopers, and twenty-four combat with so a lot of storm troopers, imperial engineers, and scout trooper companies. Nice. I must get the signal. We detected a signal coming from the northern perimeter, most likely from a city or mining colony due to the frequency of chatter we picked up from them. We should begin investigating so that we may determine the people inhabiting this planet. A small reconnaissance team should make do. Survey complete. A small reconnaissance survey of uh, desert storm troopers have returned from their survey and made a disturbing discovery. Air, the area in which the executor had crashed land is surrounded by numerous buildings now destroyed, and many have once been a city before arrival. There's no telling how the survivors of the city may react to us destroying their homes, so measures must be taken. We can first try to save the survivors of the city and persuade them that we were shot down by a neighboring station and put the blame on them. The alternative would be to execute the remaining survivors and keep our landing secret, which would allow us, also allow us to harvest the resources of the area without restriction. The choice could have ramifications to the future. Maintain secrecy. Save and recruit the local populace. Uh, that member would be nice, but we cheated. We didn't really cheat, but we got we did what we had to. We do what we must. Reconstruction effort. We're gonna risk ourselves on a foreign planet without a strong base of operations with which to defend and conduct ourselves. Having the Imperial Engineering Corps that survived the crash be repurposed and barely to reconstruction team. Ready with a number of working droids to speed up our efforts greatly. Also, we do have a couple of peppermint here as well. Investigation of the signal. Before we do that, uh, I guess we only train Imperial regiments, huh? Blaster infantry, huh? Oh, those guys are definitely better. I should we train more of these guys? Oh, I guess they're special forces. Oh man, the signal is coming from a piece of radar equipment that split off when we crashed. It's uh, location is a few miles off to the west of the local town. Recovering the component of the ship would be nearly impossible without risking exposure. The town itself is factories we could use to help reconstruct our ship, but that would risk us going to war with the nation protecting it. The alternative would be to recover the radar part at night, but it would uh, risk us being held back in a reconstruction attack it. Stealth protocol. Ooh, well, we got rid of them. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Craft trucks, equipment, transfer planes, huh? Talkin's Doctrine. Well, we didn't do this one. We'll probably play this again and probably go with Sith Might eventually, but the fortress will be kind of cool. We've been able to recover the prefabricated garrisons from the wreckage of the Executor, and then put them to use with their shield generators in order to provide a heavily fortified area around the entire crash site. Construction Zone. We can command our droids to scavenge the area for pieces of the ship, allowing us to recycle the material for more droids. This will speed up the process in the long run, of course. Alternatively, we can use those materials to create more weapons and stick with the droids we have now. More weapons, more droids. Droids it is. Tarkin's Doctrine. Rule through fear of uh, force rather than force itself. The Tarkin Doctrine used fear and scare tactics in order to keep the populace in line. Even though they believe that by using large shows of force, they would quell any thoughts of rebellion in the general populace. This form of leadership should suit us well in the alien backwaters begin to show force in the local region. Oh boy, Tarkin's Doctrine. Massive impact goes down. Nice. The alien complex game goes up. Securing our borders. Interesting. Way better breakthrough. Wow. Turn to the skies. Subjugate Iraq. Well, a limited number of turrets still remain active. However, larger numbers still remain usable but are unconnected to the ship. We can use the connected turrets to functionally control the airspace around our ship. So, if you about this one, please go ahead. This one, too. So, um, Operation Base Arak. Establishing a military stronghold in this region will be vital to our future in the area, as its rivers and many hills provide us with natural defense, as well as a staging area with which to launch future campaigns. Nice. Oh, wow. Refitting ship, refitting speed. Wow. Well, let's get that population. Church to the skies. Operational base, Besh. With this vast desert, we'll make an opportune uh, location for operating in secret. Our secret police will be, uh, shall be given reign over this region, allowing for them to hold prisoners with a very low chance of escape across the deserts. Nice. Very nice. What was this? Ah, I wonder where they were. Luke Skywalker, huh? Wow. Weekly stability goes up, Jedi Knight, huh? Even more weekly stability. Tons of stability and political power from this guy. 
fi Red 5, no industry of course, stranded the rebellion. Oh, and Solo, Luke Skywalker, Princess Lyo. Interesting, that's cool. I gotta play Zero Faction too. <coughs> but we must continue with this one too. Reinforced bases. We'll fortify the bases in the region so we can have another. Oh, the rockets are more. A line of defense, improving the transport system will allow us to quickly react to any threats in the sphere of influence, effectively increasing the defenses across our holdings. The nation of Iraq ceased to exist as the four nations began to restructure its government through aggressive means. The aggressive claims to be a part of an extraterrestrial government entity, but skepticism is evident among the populace, after all. Those that claim to be extraterrestrial look like humans, and for all we know, maybe they're a cult that gained power in the Middle East. They don't look alien to me. Well, they look alien enough, as we have a cup of tea here. Maximilian Villas. Come on, man. Ah, beautiful. By territory is military governor. Civilian oversight. Saudi Arabia is no more, too. Star report. Star chart misalignment. The navigation officers, let off the broad executor, have made a little to no process in figuring out the location of this planet. In attempts to map our current position, the officers have been entirely stumped as to the current whereabouts of where exactly we are located within the galaxy. Original course plan to take the hyperspace lane from the Kuat drive yards to the Fondor, however, it would appear that some error in the navigation systems caused great miscalculations. By navigation's best estimates and theories, the executor somehow overshot the hyperspace route and went into the unknown regions. Vast and charted and dangerous territories of the unknown regions have baffled even the older civilizations that predate the Republic. No star charts come even close to a predicted location, and the navigator's findings only bring about dread. Where are we? And reinforce supply connections. By utilizing the remaining droids via functional, we can use them to create infrastructure leading to our most important regions, creating new roads where previously none existed. Stop priority for without adequate supply lines or a technological advantage means nothing. Plan phase two. We've accumulated enough map and resources from our surroundings to begin. Reconstruction of the ship, allowing us to utilize previously inaccessible areas blocked off in the crash. Ruin executor. Exec executor, yeah. Look at that, 50%. Breakthrough. Empire expands. The Middle East now has emerging has an emerging power on its hands, but the Iraq and Saudi Arabia fall under the new expansionist government seeking to establish order. Well, the only nations that could stop their expansion will be the Turkish government, but even then, it's doubtful that any issue will interfere and risk another world war. What about imperial tax on minor nations? Reconstructing this ship. It's all the way over here. Bi weekly conference. No, it's not going to be a problem with it. Wait for that one. Lessons of the Clone Wars. Naval development, huh? Imperial army. Specialized troops. Oh, that's cool. Then it's apply. Nice. Oh, how are we gonna do? Uh, instead of beginning to re recreate some of the more permanent facilities within the ship to allow us to uh, not only salvage weapons and materials from the wreckage, but I'll make all new weapons and other supplies we require. The crash site shall be made into a bustling construction zone. So we have Imperial Service. We have Imperial Self Reliance. Total mobilization. Political advisors, Prince of Terror would be nice. Captain Ministry would be very nice as well. Uh, more political power, sure, why not? Naval theorists. Yeah, I'll probably go with that guy. What do we have down here? Wow, plus, oh yeah, definitely get that guy. Bi weekly conference. Having a bi weekly meeting of all high command officials will remain will allow us to adapt to the changing environment we find ourselves in. Physical attendance will not be required, as we may use hollow calls to include members of serving within the field. So every person's going to get that. Improved national, imperial national spirit. Well, that's cool. Five of first legion, huh? Sixty-six. Well, I want to spend all of that so that this way that when we do what we need to do, we'll do we'll be okay. Because I want to restore database. The loss of our databases and computers were arguably the most uh, uh, largest setback that we suffered, and for without them we must rely on physically written documents and letters. As also well as the structural plans for the ship, as well as technical plans for the majority of our starfighters and walkers aboard. Restoration will be a long process, but a necessary one. Data recovery, huh? Test ethics? Technology sharing bonus versus... Uh, that seems better. Nice. Bomber models. Transportation support. Mobile army. Classic approach. Um, uh, Super Core. 
That seems pretty cool. But what else can we do down here? Repair the conference room. Hall repair. Having a central location with which to meet uh, to meet will allow our highest officials, which will often be generals and marshals, to meet in peace aboard the ship will allow an easier time strategizing while we use the ship systems. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, 35 day focus. I thought it was less than that, but whatever. Alright, so do that one. Or a partially repaired ship. Kami's coup in Ethiopia, huh? Imperial intelligence. Hey, that's not bad, too. That's actually very good. And repair the conference room. Happy July, everybody! Very nice. And we should have any second now. There you go. Artillery would be nice. Hull repair. Basic repairs to the hull of the ship allows us to see all the ship from the outside and cool off the interior, allowing everyone inside to breathe there from the heat of the desert. Good my god, it's hot outside. It's so hot. Partial repair ship would be nice. Need more factories though. What do we got here? Uh, we can improve working conditions. Oh, what is this? No bonus selected. Oh. Well, that's cool. Daily command power? Hmm. Wow, daily political power gain. Actually, can we change these that are on? Oh, wow. Sure, why not? The reconstruction set's really costing us. Sure, grab that and then grab this. Grab that. Imperial Intelligence. Imperial Intelligence was the espionage organization of the Empire that provided services of their own accord and fed resources to other military branches. If we were to, to realize our ambitions of the control on this planet, we'll likely face the counter operations carried about by various entities. We must establish an agency at once to combat these threats. Absolutely. So we need more than 20 factories, so it's just going to take us a while to get, so we must come back over here and do something. Lessons of the Clone Wars. We don't have many chips to support or spare, and are heavily reliant on our superior technology. We've been in this situation before in the Clone Wars, and the droids greatly outnumbered our clone troopers. We have to adopt strategies to prioritize our stormtroopers' lives, otherwise we'll have no men left, left at all. Which is very true. Reconstruction Discovery. During the examination of the wreckage, the executor's crash site, several inconsistencies were found by Imperial engineers across a large capital ship. It would appear that the executor's shield generators were incomplete and never properly implemented into the overall power network that made up the ship, leading to the theory that the shield generators could have fried some of the various power grids throughout the executor as a whole, causing one of the main, re main reactors to fry. The investigation yielded even worse discoveries. The shield generators found upon the executor were entirely inadequate for a vessel of our size. Further investigation into the executor's failure will continue. This can't be good. Imperial Army. Uh, utilizing specialized troopers to fight in various different environments that we find ourselves in. Our advanced environmental training will allow for our men to triumph over any enemy they come across with, with significantly fewer casualties while inflicting maximum casualties on the enemy. Can we go to War Turkey, maybe? You could try it, of course. Uh, I really don't know. Grandma Trucking. It sounds like he would be a grand battle plan type of guy. Grand Mass Assault. Well, hmm. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. I'm going with Imperial Army anyways. It's not bad. See, a Grand Army. A grand Battle Bank, Grand Army. A new army will appear across their own territories. Imperial Grunts. Let's attack, which sucks. Do you get some Mountaineer stats and bonuses in the Stormtrooper unit? <coughs> A mobile army. Kuwait vehicles. Stick with what works. Mechanize. Walkers. I'll be oh, can we get walkers? Conclusion. Huh. Comprehensive history on tanks. Research, research. 
With uh, the recent discovery and investigation of the shielding of the executor being completely inadequate for a vessel of uh, uh, its size, the navigator officers have reconsidered the calculations and somewhere between 13 and 15 million light years from the nearest recognizable galaxy. Even the new calculations would seem as if years have passed from the galaxy. Projections estimate their galaxy would be otherwise thousands of years from now and a great deal of time would pass by. This is an obviously unfathomable. The everyone who brought this ship will never see their homes again, even if we make the required repairs to the executor and went out of the orbit to make the jump back. It has been over a thousand years since we left. Everything we knew, everything that was once was, is gone. This shit may be my last report of the command of this vessel, signing off by the truth. Right now we are junior officers are not aligned. Wishko, Wilsko. Tarkin is democratic. And has a Coruscant imperialism. Coruscant. Coruscant. Why do I say Coruscant? It's Coruscant. I apologize for mispronouncing it. Oh my god. By the truth, general announcement. Screw it, we'll do that one. The fate of the Executor and her crew is what some expected it to be. It only seems fair that we share the investigations discovered. With all the Imperials, I say every single one of us are affected equally. We're all stranded together upon an unknown world forever lost from our home. I was widely and secretly accepted without conversation that the Executor's fate was worse. The worst. Confirmation alone will only and obviously depress many, as we may even see men break down entirely. Previous officers, who may, to whom the investigation reports took his own life shortly after delivering the final report to high command. And that's been common amongst many. This is the reality of the situation. Now everything we once knew is gone. Perhaps we can salvage what remains. We must face this together. Army weapons production, though. We're clearly running into the problem of arm shortage, sometimes even resorting to using captured enemy sl slug throwers from men. We must improve our blast production and our own manufacturers in order to hold our technological edge. Which is very true. Very, very true. The Great Depression. A Great Depression is spread among the Imperial ranks, is understandably so. Two percent of bases of camps now perform the guard duties. Others lay in barracks, remembering the long time gone in a galaxy now far, far away. Myriad of various officers, ranking officers given orders to the personnel, drinking themselves to death or held up their in their posts like stray animals, staring first in the lights. Even as their general staff walk in a haze, and efficiently delegating tasks and overseeing reconstruction efforts that they themselves do not partake in. Oh god, look at that. The Great Depression. Uh, the executive's crew mostly remains, but the mental health of the entire crew has fallen in her future is unknown. The situation is dire. Well, I'm glad we got more political power to start with. You know, my god. Imperial grunts. Support. Uh, additional recruitable population. Grand Army. Well, we'll probably go with the classic approach, but bomber models, transportation, and support. Uh, I want CAS. I'll probably use more CAS, in all honesty. I want to go these two different ways. We're going left for everything here, so bomber models. Bombers are particularly an important tool we must utilize, as our enemies have no chance of getting a superiority over us as it stands. If we focus on our bomber efforts, we can destroy any land opposition we come across with, with ease. Air reformer? Sure. Land supply. Al Qasam. So that's the case. We'll finish this road up, and then we'll start building up some of these roads. Start lowering their autonomy, why not? Hopefully. Imperial grunts. Imperial Army troops or the Imperial Army soldiers were soldiers that deployed throughout the Galactic Empires as main infantry throughout the galaxy, formed up from eager and often young conscripts. These grunts served as expeditionary units for the Empire, tasked with the subjugation of worlds that dared to resist the Emperor's rule, which would conscript the local populace into these roles. Nice. War plans would be nice. The aftermath. The Imperial hierarchy is crumbling. With orders not being followed and the lower officers and other admirals and generals deciding to follow through with their own ideas rather than that of the senior officers. Um, something must be done, swiftly done, or else the territory we may have split apart. Or the, what else territory we may have may be split apart. Something must be done, of course. here. 
Standardization of the Army. As a grunt of the Imperial military, our army troops have had access to the extensive arsenal deployed by the Galactic Empire. This included the E-10 and the E-11 blaster rifles, E-22 reciprocating double-barrel blaster rifles, SX-21 pump-action scatter blasters, DLT-19 heavy blaster rifles, and sidearms such as the E-17 holdout blaster. That shall once more be the standard issue for these grunts. A new Imperial Force. And Imperial Armored Troopers utilize a set of armor similar to that of the Imperial Officer Battle Armor, with the addition of polarized goggles and a respirator mask to filter out toxic substances. Swamp Troopers of the 224th Imperial Armored Division possess waterproof capes in order to keep mud from gathering within the gaps of their armor. This should be the look of new Imperial Forces, of course. Supporting roles. Yeah, still getting a little better for us. Um... See what we can do, but truck and spam. Well, oh, ooh. Yes. Well, well, of Tarkin's a master of propaganda and able to manipulate the fear and hatred harbor within a person and turn against whatever they may be useful. Tarkin's plan involves like, stoking elitism among the men. Waging a war against a planet beginning in another empire, one to last a thousand years. Conquering an unconquered galaxy in desperate need of a strong central hand. This will obviously anger the natives within an army. A thousand year empire. Division attack plus 20%. Division defense plus 20%. Well, tons of political power. Lots of stability. A little bit less than Encore Manpower, but that's okay. Ceasefire. Oh my god. Really? Really? Had a ceasefire agreement? Really, bro? Oh, wait, the Imperial Command's down here. Oh, I didn't realize we had that one down there, too. Nobody had so much manpower. Not bad. Why are we all the way down there? Supporting rules. Uh, the current state of a militia is poor without extra equipment. Given our troop support companies will improve their efficiency in the battlefield. Yeah, that'd probably be a good thing to do. Star Wars military boss second one. Huh. Is an uprising Krakow? Admiral Conan Antonio Motti. Yes. Division armor attack and defense, close air support. Infantry. Oh, that's really good. Uh, nothing really there too much to speak about. None of these are really that great either. Prince of Terror. We will need a Prince of Terror. Yeah. Eventually, though. Industry it is. There we go. Recruitment drive. Broadcasting imperial propaganda across all forms of wireless media across the globe will surely draw recruits from the farthest reaches of this planet. Seeing so recruitment centers and operational base bash will also use their escape police to filter out candidates who are deemed undesirable. So that makes them feel like War of Yemen or something like that. Or it's the UK Oman. Because we just need three more factories or something here. So, I'm not really sure. Grand Army, I want to save that one. Land of Supply. The Clone Wars which predated the Empire's realm was a deadly conflict requiring myriad resources that needed to be produced or procured at a moment's notice. The, the military of the Republic. Uh, I could create a logistics core oversee the issues. Perhaps we can take some notes. Yolaren comes forward. Colonel Vilif uh, Yolaren has a well respected man among the Imperial Armed Forces. The average trooper looks up to him as a guiding hand and even a tempered leader. It's quickly risen to figurehead for the growing movement of troopers banding together for more representation from their hierarchy of worrying development. Another problem to worry about. Go to Spain. Data recovery. We should go through the files we manage to recover and begin implementing designs we come across. Allowing limited amounts of our arms to be reproduced by those we have propagated will allow for them to keep pace with their own troopers in the field instead of lagging behind. Uh, Struggling to keep up with our rate of advance. Even our older models will be an incredible boost to the strength of our forces. Air doctrine refinement. Focusing on destroying our enemies with capacity to fight will cripple their frontline troops. As if we destroy the factories, we will destroy the enemy's ability to arm its own men. Now they can withstand the firepower of the Imperial Air Corps. Oh my god, that's really bad. Okay then. Back to plan B. Should I just cheat for more factories or something? Or what should we do? I don't know. I don't want to go to war, but we can't. Like, bruh. I do want to do a classic approach. We went left on everything here, here as well, so. Ah, good. <coughs> I 
proving early new logistics. The Galactic Empire was truly troubled in logistics. Keeping order and controlling a multitude of plants across a vast galaxy meant that regions were on a constant new supply. With only one world now, our focus on uh, for our focus on the time being, or we shall bolster for logistics and supply sites for the Imperial Army. Imperial Supply Fleet. Imperial Supply Fleet was a part of the Na Imperial Navy, and we had hundreds of ships throughout any given sector, constantly refueling and supplying our fleets of Star Destroyers and ground forces. We shall reinstate the service using transport craft, and this should greatly bolster our supply. Yeah. Soviet defectors. A group of defectors from the Soviet Union. Turn another turn on to us. Pledging their allegiance to the Empire in return for shelter. Skilled personnel and short supply, except in their offers quite lucrative, of course. The Marshal is known as Mikhail Tukhachevsky is a particularly skilled individual. Perhaps you can help us? Army experience gain plus 0.5. Daily communist and. Uh, ooh, daily democracy gain, though. Communist. Mmm. Max planning, but. Master impact goes down, yeah, that's good. Plus point one. Try it. Support weapons. May thirty seven, proving logistics. Naval development. Water-based vessels are similar to our spacecraft, we can apply the same methods here. Because why not? Naval effort. Naval effort. Establishing a navy in these seas of the planet will give us an advantage. Should be nice. So, do I need 20 factories? Does that include. I guess it includes Navy Naval dockyards too. Yeah, that'd be nice. Our ship lies spread out on three main clusters of debris. Our first priority should be to recover these major sections by merging them together again. With our ship whole, we can then begin to repair the more intricate systems. Good God, wouldn't that be nice? So, we can do some tanks too. Getting ready to go to war with the Oman, I guess. Their Entente reaffirmed, huh? Holy crap, 500? Well, seems like the route we should take. Point three eight, barely going up, but still going up a little bit. Oh, you know what you've done? I should have done this guy. Oh wait for that one. Naval effort should be good after that. Give him some new leaders. Why not? Can power the king's party. Let's see after this. Are they guys. Oh, the rebel lines are down here too. Look at that. They got bigger. So now we should be able to do this one, right? Yeah. Awesome. Now what do we do with this? Ships, okay. Network intelligence gain. It's not bad. Navigation system repair. Sort of weapon systems. Rocket engines. Holy crap. Dark side of the force. I like that one a lot. We're going to see the 501st. Improve Talkin's Doctrine. Focus are not yet fully implemented. These focuses will eventually expand into new focuses and decisions. Sweet! Which means we got we got to play this at least once more. And we're going to play this mod several times, I'm sure. Because I loved everything Star Wars up until, like, Disney took over, so... But, you know, that's a long time ago at this point. Not much to say about it. Um... Ah. Things are ahead of time, eh? I really need them ahead of time. Some logistics. A little ahead of time there. I'll grab some of that because you can. Why not? And yeah, what do we have over here? Because why not?
Destroy our hangars. Pa or repairing the hangars will go a long way in increasing our ability to wage war. Currently, our aircraft must land on sandy dunes of whatever airfields we conquer. Not optimized for aircraft that we're able to take off and land without the need of its landing strip. Navigation systems repair. Repairing the ship's navigation systems will allow us to locate enemy aircraft with relative ease, allowing your pilots to operate more effectively. The navigation system is so heavily damaged, only offering marginal defense detection. Yeah, man. Jolf. Half functioning ship would be a nice gift, too. Maybe all of it, though. And we need more than 40 factories. And Imperial Intelligence Analysis Branch. Imperial Intelligence and Analysis Branch are responsible for surveying and interpreting an abundance of surveillance data and information required daily. We're building this branch to help our intelligence agents conduct operations more effectively. Interior core, huh? Do we have any planes? We do not. Doing well? 300k ish? Nice. Go, stormtroopers, go! There goes Spain. Spain has killed itself. Yay! They form an alliance, huh? I've not seen that one before, actually. Oman is gone! Thank you very much. Bureau command, daily compliance should go up by a lot, actually. Well, that was fun. Oh, Great Britain is here now. How many divisions do they have? Can we actually take these guys out? 8,000 manpower, 46 divisions. We should be able to, right? Two thirty is a long time, but whatever. Motion sensors. Using our sensors to spot targets on the ground is a trivial matter once they are further repaired. Allowing us to further co coordinate our own men and find out locations of enemies on the field. Shield repair. Repairing the hull allows us to use our power plants at a higher efficiency, which in turn allows us to begin repairs on the shields to protect ourselves from enemy bombardments. Store weapon systems. Rebuilding our main weapons will be a top priority, um, as Executor was at one time the most well-armed ship in the entire Imperial fleet, or Navy. Uh, focusing on the concussion missiles will aid us greatly as the range is enough to cover wider ADS around the ship. Interesting. New uh, turbo laser emplacements. Turbo lasers are heavy laser cannon equipped with large banks of capacitors, allowing to build up and store far more energy, powerful energy bursts than a standard cannon. We shall construct new tower emplacements across the territories of the conquest to ensure air superiority. <coughs> Rebuild hangar supply hubs. Repairing the hangars allowed our aircraft to dock within the executor once more. Currently, our aircraft can now reuse the resupply devices and machines located within the hangars, but we will have to spend some time to repair these instruments. So once the repairs are complete, our aircraft will be able to resupply on the constant basis, improving operation efficiency as well. Sorry, talk about planes. Ooh! Oh, arc frames, nice. I love those. Beautiful. Wait, what are we missing? Guided missiles. No. Yeah, that is what it is. 60? Democracy is getting a little too large for our liking. So we're 60 now. Does that really get us all the way back up to where we really want it? Probably not. Half functioning ship! Well, we'll have to wait a long time for this one. Repairing basic systems such as air circulation and electricity throughout the entire ship will provide a boost of morale and allow us to greatly improve the quality of life on board. It also allows us to begin working more detailed systems such as advanced sensors. Yellow River blown. It's not the only thing being blown. Uh, 38. Nice. Good. Analysis extens extension. Analysis branch has been a success. Imperial intelligence could use further funding to help monitor media transmissions, communication channels, break encryptions, and assess the enemy better. Expanding analysis branch will be beneficial. Imperial intelligence death troopers. Death troopers are highly specialized elite soldiers of imperial intelligence. They are serve as bodyguards, high-ranking officials or officers, and these are elite special personnel, uh, commandos, we, assignment commandos. We can use invest in the program to help our intelligence operations once more. Uh, imperial security bureau. Imperial Security Bureau is charged with matters of internal security and ensuring the loyalty of the citizens of the Empire. The IOSB was a sister agent to the Imperial Intelligence, and was led directly by High Command. A great amount of resources will be needed to reconstruct the sister agency. Nice. Rebel Alliance are attacking? Suppression of Egypt. Guarantees Austrian independence, huh? 
Oh, what is this? Warp oh, warp plans, finally, thank god. Uh, planning out our assaults on the neighbors will allow us greater lethality and speed in subjugating them. Using newly repaired conference room, we will swiftly, ban swiftly plan to end the conflicts with our neighbors while mitigating casualties to our own, or to our own men where possible. Oh, and there you go. There you go. Those, those guys. Arc frames, nice. Sort of TIE fighters. Yeah, those guys are worth it. There you go. Oh, we actually have some. Whoa, this, the stress of front. Oh my god. Germany, what did you do to yourself, bro? Bruh. Campaigns. Secret police. Ooh. Beginning to, uh, to plan our military campaigns will aid us in the future, allowing us to more effectively dominate our enemies. Tracking bonus. A secret police force will be necessary. As discontent among our subjects is already becoming apparent, forming a division within Operational Base Besh will serve as, a, serve as our secret police. Shall serve as our secret police. Yeah. Nice. Colonial agreement. <laughs> we can negotiate with the border and colonial powers of this planet in order to give us the surrounding territories. These territories will help us make our, our borders more coherent and allow for more, more development. Oh wait, so now they're fighting these guys. Oh my god, that's uh, that's pretty bad for Germany, but whatever, that's not us. So we don't really care. Prince of Terror? Yeah, we're probably gonna need a Prince of Terror. Oh! How about the Galactic Empire? Oh my god, the stress of front is huge. That's a massive stress of front. The alliance is not growing any larger, which is good to see too. Intimidate Oman. Take Turkey. Uh, we're gonna take him out. Indemnate Yemen. Uh. Wait, so wait, how do we do that? Any country subject. There's an integrate tick tick key. Oh, I guess we're going up here now. Colonial campaign. Plans to attack and attack against allied colonies, increasing attack and defense by 10% against African and Indian colonies. Oh. Huh. Map 38. A basic medium tank is not bad to have. Is it really great? Okay. Well, it's not terrible to have, but still. Let's see what happens if we do that first. Romanian Accord. Border conflicts. Become order in Palestine. Gains core in Palestine. Do not take this focus as border conflicts are broken with the BBA patch. Complete the border control focus instead. Oh! Imperial operations expand on the creating border conflicts with the sole purpose of capturing neighboring lands without instigating open warfare. We shall test the feeble governments of the world and gain new land without a single drop of imperial blood. The various governments of this world dare not openly declare war against the imperial army. Let us see how far we can push these rats. France accepts the offer. Our efforts have paid off. France accepted the terms of the deal, meaning that this could be a stepping stone towards better relations. Our empire grows. And so does Great Britain. Oh, what? They got it? Bruh. Bruh. They're not ready yet. I'm getting a little more concerned about this. So we'll go with infantry. Blaster infantry is actually a little bit better. You, it takes a little more supply, but overall, they're just better. Full on just victory, eh? Civilian trains are nice, armor trains are nice as well. Um, radio entry, operational results, op 
Romanian Accord. Currently, the Romanian government sees us nothing more than an aggressive nation pretending to be from the stars. It's problematic as a guarantee for independence, and Turkey prevents us from further expansion. However, we may change our minds once we show them our proof of origins and protection so we can offer. That'll be kind of nice. This will be even nicer, though. Bulgarian Accord. IMP, Bulgarian Description. If there are any of these do British dogs, now that we control most of the desert lands, and hand over the remaining territory, it should be an easy. With the attention turns elsewhere, they wouldn't dare to op open in front of war with the Galactic Empire. Hello, this is what we wanted. Working on it. That would be nice. Okay, well, let's save. I doubt we'll be able to win a war against these guys, but we could try it. Be kind of nice. Wow, we own all this stuff too, huh? Oh, pretty nice. Look at that manpower we have now. Holy crap. Well, that's going to take 100 days, god dang it. That's going to take so long. Operations Imperial Suppression of Egypt. Suppression of Egypt. The people of these lands were previously under the rule of what some deemed to be a tyrannical government. We shall offer a basic form of imperial citizenship. For the people of these lands, if they choose to devote their lives to the empire and work, we shall convince them. With superior technology in mind, this should open up the imperial army to waves of new conscripts. Ah, nothing like Egyptian conscripts. How many more days we get? Uh, 90, 70, that's fine. Start training them more. Good. Very good. And. Take it on. Colonial campaign. Influencing the Bulgarian government. Well, we might as well, right? Yeah, that's right. We might as well. Um, yeah, so we'll do that one too. We don't have factories yet. Oh, and by Romania. Our core with the Romanians made them believe in our cause and are now willing to join us. We'll get investments. Well, can't do this way. Closing Imperial patrols and martial law, gain 25 compliance on all Bulgarian territories. Bulgarian investments. And Bulgarian investments, too. New allies in the Balkans. The Grand Army. Having trained a newly recruited army and expanded our military facilities, everything comes together at once. We can assemble our fresh armed troopers from their training grounds and deploy them into the field, armed with weapons created by our newly constructed many factories and supported by newly constructed aircraft. Uh, Roman imperialists, well, we might as well do that one. We get, I would love to straight up annex them, but, um, and get cores, but Rom Romanian imperials. Romanian's populace and imperial style government will, uh, will have served the empire well enough. Let's bring them into the fold and offer true imperial friendship, as they are much brothers and sisters of those who came from our galaxy far, far away. Romania shall serve as planet's guiding force. More divisions. Oh, finally, thank God. Um, uh, oh, uh, ST foreigners. Huh. Well, oh. realize they got more divisions. These are actually better. Well, maybe ish. Actually, you know what? I'll let you guys go over there. Now we actually might have enough here, as we we have taken Istanbul already, which is nice. So we'll see about that. You should be like by. Yeah, you'll be like by. Supplies kind of really suck right now, but whatever. Pretty normal. Artillery wise, you can lower that one by a little bit. Get a little bit on guns. Get these guys a little better. We've never really been able to do too much except use a 501 first to help push in in certain areas, so. Imperials, Imperial Tools and Weapons Romania. Imperial Romania will need to access new tools and weaponry if they are able to join our conquest as a standard set by us. We should issue them schematics and a variety of tools, while also increase the number of initial officials to start the great scheme of turning our ally into a rocky force. That's be good for supplies as well. Yay! Hello, what the heck is this? Hey, Imperial Romania. Bro, what are you doing? Taking Bulgaria. Bro. Oh, my god, the first looks really cool. They shouldn't, that shouldn't complete our new brothers and sisters. 
Glory to the Empire, new brothers and sisters of Imperial Romania chant out on the streets. Romania have found themselves equal to the inner social hierarchy and systems. We should continue the conquest of this world, the powerful ally at our side. The remaining scum will be cleansed off this planet, belonging to the Empire. Nice. Flexible Navy. Large Navy. We must have a Navy capable of rivaling all, and then she'll trade with us without knowledge. Uh, we gotta go here next. We have to. Because this up here is a base that we want, and eventually we'll get there too. Go there next. Let's go ahead. Malata. Once we get here, we can go into there. That is the El Plano. Wow, they just died there. Like a large. Oh, actually, you know what? I guess technically it might make more sense for us to go to flexible navy. We already have this doctrine going, anyways. Ah, screw it, let's cancel it. We must have a navy capable of mobility and range. The planet is relying on supply by sea. Just because we kept everything to the left, we'll keep everything to the left here, too. Submarine force. Submarines uh, allow for obstruction of combos and supplies, powerful than reducing a nation's might, destroy our effort. Focusing on destroyers, ship, cheap ships will allow us to protect our capital ships. Right, are they done yet? There you go. That, that's good. So it gets supply, even though it's cut off still. So we need to come here to next. Once we take this, supply will be good and golden. And then we'll do a general attack, maybe. We'll see. Austria's gone. Well, they finally got that, but the stress of, they're, I'm surprised the Germans have not died yet. They lost Prussia, but you know, what else is new? I guess Hungary is in the war as well, so. Well, they're looking a little weak. I wonder if we could just do this and do okay. Maybe we can, maybe we can't. Time will tell. I'm looking at this one right here. Hopefully, they, oh. Everyone's forcing. I guess we'll all force the attackers with them. Flexible Navy. Is that worth doing? It's going to be very costly to do, but that's okay, I guess. Cruiser effort. Focus on cruisers as long as we protect our capital ships. Capital ship effort. Our capital ships will serve as powerful as, uh, be as powerful as the executor. Should we focus back over here, but whatever. No, I send you once finally. Dive brakes, that'd be nice. Engines, better engines, yes. Uh, we lost 30,000, which is not great, but we killed off 120,000, so I'm feeling okay about that. Take your on. I definitely want to do that soon, but I'm not sure when to take that. That's not an aggression factor. That's not good. Colonial campaigns. Yeah, I'm also do that anyways. And that doctrine is now done, which is great. Over here, we're going to grab accomplish heritage. Professional officer course sounds like what we should do, but grant middle class. I never use this one, but we do have an accomplished heritage. Logistical focus, victory or death, static warfare. Uh, we go logistical focus, probably. Theater training, inventive leadership. I kind of like theater training, but I want to go with inventive leadership for this one. Cruiser efforts. Go with some more efforts, too. Add that's still not broken over, which makes sense. Death Vader's not learning very much. Major General is learning quite a bit. And so is he. Oh, good. Cut off. Very good. We're running out of guns, though, but what else is new? Naval stations is fine. Uh, maybe start focusing on some ships, heavy ships? Yes. Some planes as well, that'd be decent. <coughs> basic rules. As much as I want to do these ones, we'll do basic rules. By simplify, by simplifying using our bombers in a single role, bombing, we can focus on increasing their destructive capacity. Previously, bombers have been outfitted with a variety of laser. Uh, what the heck is that? Uh, laser weaponry turrets and other various additions. The bombers have one job, dropping ordnance on an enemy, and this is what we must focus on. But in the meantime, half functioning ship, too. So it can be an award. Well, we'll see about that. Because that's probably not the greatest thing for us. That is disgusting, and they just made it more powerful. They crippled our ally just a little bit. Never good. I was just trying to lower their autonomy here, too. We have spread out like a cancer through here. Very good job. Oh, they've actually broke through Istanbul as well. Beautiful, my friends. Are they running out of... They must be out of guns or something. I'm, I'm sure they're not out of manpower. Yeah, the 100,000 manpower left. Uh, Walker tank. Huh. <coughs> Advancing motion sensors. Further repairs allow for us to detect enemy aircraft as they take off, allowing increased air superiority in any case, or in any, any region we choose or to occupy. Expand hunkers. Finally, clearing our hangars of wreckage has given us plenty of space to work with, allowing us to house our newly constructed aircraft. shang has gone. Fi finish auxiliary systems. 
The ship sensors are operating nearly 100%, allowing us to effectively detect enemies and coordinate our air defenses with our uh, field commanders, giving information as soon as it's available. That's cool. Yeah, the war is over. Oh. Bro, let me take them all. Bro, I can't take all of it? What the heck? Bro. I guess I'll integrate Turkey. Builds infrastructure across the conquered territories and adds factories to the crash site. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Should give our guys even more experience to take these guys out then. I'm gonna assume they're infantry. I could be wrong. They're artillery. Plane stuff. I don't need extra fuel tanks. We can take some of that stuff. We don't have anything for fighters yet. Oh, well, we do. Well. Our trains are fine. Balance all repairs. We could. It's not too much over there we can really do right now. Advanced motion sensors for now, I suppose. Way more electrical equipment needed, though. Rookwell. Let me know what should we call our intelligence agency. Please let me know in the comments below as we are getting ready to invade. Iran. Which is going to cost a little bit of supply, but that's okay. We should do okay against them. I'm not super concerned about it, but, you know, whatever. Ah, but finally, it's all repairs. Completing, completely resealing the hole allows us to one on day return to space, and in the meantime, allows for us to house all of our troops inside the ships once again. Making it nearly invulnerable for any kind of bombing our enemies may attempt. Finish auxiliary systems. The ship sensors are operating nearly 100%, allowing us to effectively detect enemies and coordinated defenses, which, with field commanders being given information as soon as available, expand hangers that you read. And this one too. So if you enjoyed the video though, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my description in the description below, and we'll see you tomorrow. I also invaded Ron and see what else we can do, and hopefully re reinvade the Republic of Turkey. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of Oh boy, your day.